All right, we're gonna go ahead and take a quick look at entry ticket and exit ticket ideas. One thing that I wanna bring up is a, is a potential here. If you're gonna use these a lot, what I would do is I would create some templates. So this, this one here might say entry ticket, three text question uh, sample or, or template. And then what I could do is anytime I wanna do three text-based questions for my entry ticket, I could just copy this form and all I have to do is change out those uh, actual questions. But you can do some things to really make life easy for you on the creation end by just creating some sample or template ones that you just repeat. And so to do that, I would hit this th dot, dot, dot uh, menu, and I would say copy, and I could copy any form that I've already created. But we're going to go ahead and take a look at one that I've entered here. So I've got an entry ticket sample, and you notice I've got two responses. And then after I talk about the entry ticket, we'll take a look at some things with an exit ticket. What I like about an entry ticket is it's something that can give my students something to work on while I'm taking attendance, catching up on you know things for students that have been absent, or just dealing with other paperwork at the start of the period. And so here I've just got some simple questions like summarize the three key ideas that we talked about in the lesson yesterday. What questions do you still have about yesterday's work so that I can get some feedback on what's going on with that? And then tell me something that they know about slope. And so this question might be a lead in to something that we're talking about today. So, you know, in my case, I might be building on something that we've done with slope already. And then just a basic question about rating their confidence. If you look at the responses here that I've uh, had submitted then in my dummy responses, What's nice here is after they've done this, if I wanted to go ahead and talk about what they uh, you know, covered yesterday, I could simply pull this up on the board in front of the room and I could go through and say, all right, you know, somebody thought the slope was positive or negative, negative slopes went down as you go left or right. And if there was a mistake here, I could address that mistake. Or if it's all correct, I could just keep moving on with it. But this would give everybody a chance to kind of uh, quickly look at everybody's summary responses. And at that point, you know, students could have discussions and, and it's a great way to uh, review what you did the day before. They're already thinking about it individually and then you can have some group think afterwards. The other options then that I have here are, you know, these other questions that I have. And so, you know, what's something we still have questions about yesterday's work? Well, I may want to know what these are and I could be looking at these even as they're uh, submitting them. And now I know what I need to address as far as review. So again, another uh, easy way for me to be able to get some, some quick information on, uh, and feedback and, and analysis of what's going on within my class. And then here, tell me something they know about slope. Again, a great conversation starter question. You know, I take just two or three minutes to go over some of the answers. And so now they've already brainstormed a little bit about the things they know. They're doing all of that on their own uh, in an easy format while I'm going ahead and, and taking care of administrative duties or just monitoring what they're doing and making sure they're getting their work done. This is a great activity to get them started in class. So some things to think about when you're looking at these, you know, what are some things that you want to review uh, that you would want to have as a conversation starter? And then what sort of things would you want to do as a lead in to the coming lesson for the rest of that day? Uh, those are the things I tend to use exit or entry tickets for. I'm gonna go back here now and we're gonna talk a little bit about uh, exit tickets, very similar type of thing. But I did build in a couple question types here that you know might give you some food for thought and, and really the questions four and five are the ones I want to talk about most. Um, typing in the answer to a verbal exit question. So here is a dummy question essentially and I've got two, two types. I've got a text base and I've got a multiple choice one. And you notice up here with the little star or the asterisk, each of these are required questions because I want them answering that. But I might not ask a question four or a question five. I might at the very end of the day, based on how the flow of the lesson went, want to ask a verbal question that they have to go in and do something with. So at this point, what this question does is just gives me that chance to say, all right, class, you're going to go into your exit ticket today, answer one, two, and three, but for question four, I want you to answer this question. What was it that the first president of the United States did that really stood out or whatever your question might be? And then you go ahead and enter that there and now we've got it. The other thing I have here is a multiple choice question. Same thing. All I did is I put in, uh, you know, question five and then select A, B, C, or D. And so I could ask them a question in class. I could project it on the board in front of me. And it's a multiple choice question. They see what the answers are on the board. All they're going to do is come in here to the form so that I can get quick feedback and know exactly what everybody in the class answered. And then again, I can use that as lead in information or whether or not I need to, you know, was consideration for whether or not I need to do some reteaching on that the next day. So again, if you look at responses here, 
But what's different is on that question five, I could even project this up on the board. I ask the question on the board and they go ahead and answer it and we can see in real time how the class did. But I could be looking at this and we could see how many of them are getting it right and wrong. So again, it's just food for thought, some ideas that you could do. Um, there is an on the fly quiz video that I'm gonna create for this. And so I recommend that you take a look at that if this question four and five are things that you think you might wanna take advantage of. I'll go into that in a little more depth. Anyway, I hope that this gives you a good idea of how entry and exit tickets can be used.